Okay, a little update on the fire. As you can see, there are more machines here. Um, two more fire trucks and another ambulance have arrived. And the fire is worse. So things are going as you would expect them to go in Mexico with incompetent people. Same with the people trying to get the boat off the uh, dock. By the way, that guy with that boat stuck on the beach stole my sailboat. Uh, a West, West Sail 32 named Paradis, for which I still have the title. And they sold it to a, a Canadian. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> All the people around me in boats are, are from in the Anchorage are Canadians. And they all believe they're God's chosen people, too. So, yeah. The fire's worse. Ooh, wow, you can see the, the heat ripples, the flames almost. Well, bet we're going to see flames soon. crazy. Oh, they looked. They closed the sail and evacuated it, finally. <laughs> yeah. And the houses that are adjacent to this building are on fire. Because, you know, this could, could be someone's house is on fire behind the hotel. I'm just assuming it's a hotel. <laughs> no, it's the hotel. But anyway, the boat over there that's uh, marooned is Omar in El Triton. And him and his father plotted to install my sailboat from me, a West Sail 32. So, as you can see, he's a fucking idiot. He parked his boat over here and sat on the beach and watched the tide go out and watched his boat go dry. And now he's having one, two, three, four, five, six people help him push his boat back into the water. Boat's turning again. Does that. It's annoying, huh? Well, three ambulances. Probably for the firemen, actually. Yeah, I'm almost seeing flames coming out of there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's the tips of flames there. That was a bird. <laughs> Yeah, real fun. Yeah, I will acknowledge I could be wrong about it being an insurance scandal because I could be wrong about it being a hotel. Just, you know, they pulled a body out of the hotel and uh, all the context says it's the hotel because I know how long it goes back and that's within the boundaries of the hotel. So it looks like it's at the far right corner, the far left corner from where we're looking at the hotel. You know. Uh, well, at least this part of it, because it spans the, the spans across the street too. But uh, yeah. Hmm. Gosh, all the guy had to do was pay his employees properly. Now the insurance company is going to be fucked. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're the insurance company for this and you want uh, the evidence that it's uh, insurance fraud, come see me. But you better fucking pay me for it. You don't have to pay me money. You just, you got to sick these fucking jo dogs off on me. Get Mac fucking Schreier, Daniel fucking Schreier to stop fucking harassing me and telling the fucking immigration to ignore my refugee case. I'm telling Abrard and Amlo to ignore my fucking emails. Yeah, that's right. Mac Schreier tells Abrard and Amlo what to do.
another uh, emergency vehicle here coming. This is a Marines water truck. Coming on scene here. So they need more water still. You know, they've got an ocean full of water right here. We just need a pumper truck and a siphon out in the ocean. We have all the water we needed to uh, put this fire out. And you could get in from above if you had a fire boat. But we don't. Because, well, we don't. I could have put the fire out myself, actually, but they stole my my pump, so, motherfucker. And, conveniently, yeah, this is the other shit I have to deal with around here, these motherfuckers. What the fuck are you staring at, motherfucker? Not even at the fucking wheel, and you're going right by my fucking bow. Fuck you, motherfucker. Enjoy the scenery, folks. Anyway, that's one of those motherfuckers that comes across my dock. It's this. Like the last one did. There. Where's it? Where's the lens? It flares, by the way. Warning flares. Say the fuck away from my fucking boat. Goddamn flies. Well, they're almost getting it out, maybe. I'm going to have to go in now. The fumes are coming over this way a bit. So. <sighs> what a fuck up.